Rotary board members, I'm Alex, the social media manager. Hi, I'm Jace, the social media analyst. Hi, I'm Jenna, the social media content creator. Hi, I'm Blake, I'm the social media assistant. And, and we're Misfit Marketing. With the technology present in today's society, we are more connected than ever through mediums and platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. According to GossipGenie.com, 1.15 billion users are on Facebook, 359 million users are on Google+, and 215 million users are on Twitter. So utilizing social media effectively by catering posts to your audience and creating a wide variety of content can help improve your business-to-business consumer-to-consumer and business-to-consumer connections because of the different virtual relationships you can form on social media. Today we will give you tips on integrating your social media and creating a marketing plan to build your social platforms. So what is social media? Social media in broad terms is a way for people to communicate with each other. So let me explain. Interaction is a vital component of successful businesses and organizations. Social media allows people and businesses to virtually connect with each other. Making wide-ranged connections through various platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, just to name a few. Let's see what the Home Alliance Club, a similar organization, has done with their social media. The Lions Club is an example of an in-industry competitor that focuses on health, environment, and serving the community. Primarily, their social media platform of choice is Facebook. They have a four-star rating and 62 page likes. Their response rate is typically within an hour. However, even though they have a social media presence, they are not consistent with posting. Just like Rotary, the Lions Club is a service organization with a non-profit element. Scrolling through their Facebook feed, you see that they post quite frequently. However, they only post about events that they've held, particularly bingo. They lack variety in content. Only posting pictures does not invite interaction between followers and organization. As you can see, they hardly get any likes on their posts. Facebook is the only platform that Home Alliance Club uses, making diverse demographics hard to come by. Most of their social media posts are related to the events that they host. One example is about their bingo events. All of the proceeds from these events go back into the club. Another example of their Facebook post is a give back night at Firehouse Subs. They also do not get any customer interactions on their posts. As it regards to the question, what is social media, they have some grasp on the concept, but they could improve their efforts. In order to surpass your competitor's social media problems, you should post things like the What Does Rotary Do video. This video explains what the organization is all about and why it is important. Rotary can post this on Facebook and Twitter using bit.ly links to make them more social media friendly. Also, another post that Rotary can make is a simple what is Rotary. It is a picture explaining the organization just to get a feel for what they are all about. Rotary is doing great with understanding the concept of social media, but if they consider using other platforms and making the time to post, they may reach more people and their social media will be more effective. So, what is the cost of social media? Some businesses have the funds to outsource a social media manager, while others are not so lucky. Even if there isn't proper funding, someone will still spend their time managing social media accounts. In this case, time is money. If the right person comes along with the skills to complete the task, the payoff will be substantial. Rotary's payoff would be an increase in diverse membership, meeting attendance, and donations to events and services. Social media is an effective tool for communication and connection. Though it takes some time and can be costly, if businesses perform the right techniques, they will see substantial success. One of these techniques is writing for social media. Writing for social media requires knowledge about many things. First, a business needs to decide on how they want to be perceived. Do they want to be known for being ready while showcasing their product or services? Or maybe the company would like to be the leader of innovation and knowledge. Would they like to be funny or serious? Any business should consider things like tone, voice, and content when writing for social media. The tone of your writing is the way you write something or the words you choose. The voice of your social media is writing every post collectively. Your content is the actual information you add to each of your posts. Content should vary from text, pictures, links, and videos. According to an article on marketingland.com, in order to cultivate strong writing in social media, Companies shall concentrate on three things.
culture, community, and conversation. Through your writing on social media, you should give your audience a glimpse of the company's culture and illuminate what it would be like to work with the business or the organization. Let's look at our second in-industry comparison to see how they write for their social media. Our second in-industry comparison is Kiwanis Club of Thibodeau. Kiwanis Club is a global organization that provides service and money to fight diseases and poverty for children. Kiwanis Club of Thibodeau uses Facebook and Twitter platforms. For the most part, their posts include the types of events that they donate to or sponsor. They also post about having guest speakers and are clearly active within their community. One example of a post they made on their Facebook page is about a donation event. Kiwanis Club of Thibodeau donated $5,000 to Casca of Flafouche. Another example of their Facebook post is the post that they made about canceling an event because of bad weather and because they wanted to keep other people's best interests in mind. Finally, two other posts that they made on Facebook were about public speaking events. They include text as well as pictures. They keep their sentences short and use pictures to back up the words that they used. Kiwanis' Twitter account is considered inactive because they have only tweeted twice within the last year. When they write for their social media, it is clear that they take some time to think about concepts like spelling, grammar, and content. However, those concepts could be improved. Rotary considers these concepts when writing for their social media because they post concise sets of words and pictures to back them up. Including video might help with adding variation to their content. A social media post that Rotary could make that highlights writing for social media is a text post that concentrates on the theme of Rotary this year and it would showcase Rotary's culture and service. This post would be a quote from the new president, Ian Risley. The time is a long past when environmentally, sustainability can be dismissed as not Rotary's concern. It is and must be everyone's concern. Another social media post that Rotary could make is a text post discussing Rotary's culture as a service organization. This post would be Rotarian of the Day, a daily way to talk about different members in the club. Finally, Homo Rotary should take into consideration that writing for social media is an important aspect in reaching a broader audience. If they know how to say what they want to say and it is readable and fun, they might reach more people and gain more traction. Rotary's main goal is service for the community. Therefore, they should showcase all the work they do in the community and post pictures or videos that share what their meetings look like. Every business should listen to what their community concerns are. Knowing how your audience voices their opinions helps companies speak to them in relatable ways. Because of Rotary Services' attitude, they could open a form on their social media acts in the community. What essential problems they see in the community? Conversation is extremely important in any business setting, but particularly important in social media. Rotary should open their means of communication by asking their audience questions. Understanding who your audience is and who you're trying to market to is important, but it is also important to know which social medium is best for your organization. Considering that Rotary has a predominantly older white demographic, they may want to utilize other social media platforms other than Facebook to broaden those demographics. This would help them innovate new ideas and shy away from normal thinking. Although Facebook is useful in reaching a wide variety of people, the largest demographic is people over the age of 30 according to the Pew Social Media Report. We suggest Rotary adopt platforms like Twitter and Instagram because the largest demographics on these platforms are people between the ages of 18 and 29 years old. Let's take a look at our third in industry comparison to see how they use their social media. Let's look and evaluate what Casa Lafouche does with their social media. Casa Lafouche is a nonprofit organization like Rotary. Their message, however, is more tailored to helping abused or neglected children. Casa stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. As an organization, Casa of Lafouche has differentiated themselves in the marketplace by alternating posts promoting their events and about their volunteers and the children they've helped. Doing this set them aside by showing the positive human side of their organization. They are active on multiple social media platforms. These platforms include Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. They currently have over 1,800 likes and page follows on Facebook along with a five-star rating. They also have 486 followers on Twitter, 153 followers on Instagram, 
and 51 connections on LinkedIn. One example of an event that they are hosting is on October 21st, and it is the Best of the Bayou Cook-Off. The post highlights the event by including how you can sponsor, participate, and enter. It also includes other general information like entry fees. They use a creative graphic and a set color scheme of black and red in which they incorporated into their logo. Another post that they made on their Facebook is about advocacy and promoting their new volunteers. Their Twitter currently has about 1,270 tweets and these posts are all about events and advocacy. An example of one of their tweets is, these four ladies will do amazing things for our CASA kids. Thank you for choosing to invest your time and energy into our program. Another tweet example is, it's not too late to sign up. Spend the day with friends cooking good food. Don't forget, Bloody Mary competition. They use these posts to try and spark more consumer interest. Casa Lafouche Instagram posts are similar to the posts on their other social media platforms. This Instagram post is about Casa children who were adopted. It also shows the volunteer that was involved and the family who adopted. There are not as many Instagram posts as there are tweets and Facebook posts, but the ones that they do have are centered around the focus of their organization, which is helping children. Finally, their LinkedIn account is different in comparison to their other social media. Their account is not really focused on anything. It just seems like they are trying to establish a professional profile. The person who is running the account is their office manager, and it includes an educational background. Whoever made this account should probably include a picture, even if it is just the logo. It seems unprofessional to not have a picture on LinkedIn. As it regards to social media, Rotary is doing well with being active and posting more frequently. However, if they want to expand their demographic, they need to post consistently and utilize other social media platforms like Twitter. A good social media post that Rotary can use to help them find and understand their audience is a video post about getting to know their members. For example, Profile of the Week. This video would highlight a member from the group, whether that be someone in a leadership position or just a member. It would highlight their participation in the group, and they could give a statement on how the club makes a positive impact and what their overall mission is. Also, they can include what they would like to see in the future as it regards to the group's growth. This post could be specific to Facebook, and if Rotary wants to branch out, they can include a link and a picture on Twitter. Another good social media post that Rotary can use to help define their audience is Service Above Self. This video would include members from the group as well as Rotary leaders stating what this statement means to them as a Rotarian. On their website, they have that service above self means not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. This post would be good for Facebook and to target new people because it is promoting what Rotary is all about. It can potentially help to gain new membership and broaden the audience that they currently have. So what does this all mean for Rotary? Rotary should implement these techniques to reach a broader audience. Number one, post more frequently. If you post more frequently, you're more likely to get a better response. Number two, generate more consumer interactions by making your posts interactive so more people are more likely to comment, share, like, etc. Number three, expand your reach and try other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Utilizing more than just Facebook is a sure way to gain more traction for your organization. If Rotary follows these three simple steps, they should be able to diversify their membership and expand their audience on social media. Which leads us to our next point. Establishing marketing relationships. According to the article, Marketing for Business to Business versus Business to Consumer, Similar but Different, the main idea of business to consumer marketing is to create brand loyalty. To get loyal customers, you must make your company or organization stand out. Ways to do this is through information, merchandising, and reliable products or services and to promote these three aspects via social media. The main goal in business to business marketing is to convert prospects into customers. It is about building relationships with other companies and implementing great marketing strategies. Business to business communication should be more professional and business to consumer communication should focus on gaining customer attention through content. Via Twitter and Facebook, Rotary should illuminate the positive impact their servitude has on the local community. Showing that they make a difference wherever they are will give customers and their audience a sense of loyalty to the club. They should also improve their business relationships with other local businesses to spread awareness about the club. This could help them gain support, whether it be monetarily or membership-wise. Our fourth in-industry comparison will be Junior Auxiliary of Homa. 
Junior Auxiliary of Homa is a service organization comprised of women that has a nonprofit element. They host many events for children and provide support for the local shelters and foster homes. Junior Auxiliary of Homa utilizes the platforms of Facebook and Instagram. Junior Auxiliary is very active on their social media accounts. Scrolling through their Facebook feed, you can see that they are great at informing their audience on what they do and events they hold. However, a lot of their posts are way too text heavy. It is unreasonable for them to expect their audience to read everything that they post. For example, this event post about dancing pair number nine. Posting such text heavy posts will not engage their audience because no one reasonably will read everything on the screen. Rotary can learn from Junior Auxiliary's use of social media. Establishing posts that inform your audience on what the club does is very important. Rotary does a great job at informing their audience on what they do, frequently posting pictures about their companies and organizations they've worked with. This enhances their business-to-business -business relations. However, they need to work on their business-to-consumer relations by engaging their audience with open-ended questions. A journal entry example for business-to-business -business marketing will be a text post thanking Quality Inn for their years of serving a place for Rotary meetings. A journal example of business-to-consumer marketing will be a text post asking the audience what they appreciate most in a service organization. Rotary does a great job comparatively at engaging audience and building business Social and Social media relations. is an essential element to communicating with your audience. It allows you to virtually create relationships based on the content that you post. Businesses and organizations should spend adequate amount of time creating a variety of posts that showcase the human element of their business. Rotary should use a voice that compels their audience to join their service organization. They can do so by illuminating the ways that they've helped out the local community. Posting about their events like their flag fundraiser and their promotion and donation of dictionaries to third graders will give their audience an insight on what the club does. Posting about a Rotarian of the day will highlight the human aspects of this club. They should utilize the platforms of Facebook and Twitter to diversify their membership population. Rotary is a club worthy of many members. This club strives for positive impacts on their community and they frequently succeed. Because of their dictionary donation to third graders, Rotary of Homa has made extraordinary progress in increasing literacy rates in the Homa community. Because modern technology is so expansive, there are many current issues with ethicality in social media. There are many examples of people and businesses alike ruining their reputation because of things that they post. Recently, there have been many instances of people posting politically charged posts from company accounts or their personal accounts, and they've suffered professionally for these blunders. In order to maintain ethicality within your organization, you should follow seven rules. We've taken five of these that apply specifically to your organization. You should know who your target audience is. Since you want to expand the age demographic of your members, you should create variation within your post and you should consider adding Twitter as a platform. You should also stay away from biases. Avoiding po posting political, religious, ethnic, or any cultural biases, whether they are controversial or not. Be transparent. If you endorse something, like thanking the Ramada Inn for supplying a meeting location, give reasons why. Don't avoid or delete negative comments. How you handle negative feedback shows a lot about your organization's values. When met with negative comments, apologize for the experience or feelings the consumer may have, and then come up with a solution with them. And finally, think before you tweet. Double check facts, grammar, and content. Here's an example of two posts that could cater to different audiences. You could use this meme of Leslie Note talking about service work and caring too much about things that she does. You can post this to Twitter and use the caption, when doing service, tackle it nope style. Hashtag Homer Rotary. A great example of a post that would keep you transparent and help explain your endorsements would be a post thanking the Ramada Inn for providing a new space for your weekly lunch meetings. Let's take a look at what other people out of your industry do with their social media. Bayou YMCA is a fitness center that operates in Homa. They offer many services for fitness and also offer youth recreation teams and summer camps. The YMCA does a great job at being transparent on social media. They never delete negative comments, which is evident right when clicking on their page and seeing their reviews. They have a review score of 4.5 stars, 
but the first two reviews are a one star and a three star, average at best. This helps consumers understand their services effectively and accurately decide if they want to pursue the gym. Because consumers are more likely to believe fellow consumers' opinions, reviews are incredibly important. You should try to encourage people in different organizations that Rotary has worked with to leave a review for you on Facebook. Let's take a look further into their feed. They shy away from ethical issues by just focusing on promoting future events and showing the human side of their business with pictures of past events, like the Halloween launch they did this year. The same can be said for Thibodeau Fitness Center's Facebook page, where they post things about events and classes offered. They even post about merchandise they are selling with the Fitness Center's logo on it. To keep consumers from getting bored, they post a variety of mediums about their events, including this video about the Fall Les Mills Launch Week winners. So the first winner we're going to draw for is a three-month free membership. The reviews on Thibodeau Fitness Center's Facebook page are almost all positive, with a few negative ones. Yet no matter what the case, the Fitness Center usually responds, whether by commenting or reacting to the comments like when they responded to this customer thanking them for their support, or when they commented to this customer thanking them for the feedback, even though it was negative, and engaged the customer in solutions to their problems. Because of these companies' ethical acts on social media, they will continue to thrive with customer relations. Let's take a look at how brand cohesion can create engagement for your social media. Brand cohesion consists of keeping the visual aspects of the brand consistent across all social media platforms. This can be as simple as having the same profile pictures, color schemes, and graphic designs across all social media outlets that you use. Since one of our recommendations for you is to adopt Twitter, you should constantly build your account to visually mimic your Facebook page. Both entities should work together to illuminate Rotary's brand. Blues and gold should be prevalent as well as Rotary's wheel symbol. You should use your current Facebook profile picture as your AV for Twitter. Your name should also be the same across all social media platforms. Since you are a home of Rotary on Facebook, you should also be home of Rotary on Twitter. As an organization, you can establish brand cohesion by posting similar content across all of the platforms that you decide to use and by making sure that your profile pictures and names are consistent. An example of posts that are similar in content but could be used for different platforms are these posts about Rotary Day. This first post is about a video that can showcase the events and highlights of Rotary Day at the United Nations, which was held on November 11th. The video can include highlights of the United Nations meetings and events, plus brief video of the documentaries and videos shown at Rotary Day. This post is a great idea for a platform like Facebook. The second post could be of the same video, but used on Twitter and have it linked back to the Facebook page. It could be captioned saying, check out these wonderful events held at Rotary Day, followed by the hashtag Home of Rotary. By using the hashtag Home of Rotary, all of your posts will be linked together. This also helps establish brand cohesion. So this makes your brand more recognizable and consumers have easier access to find and communicate with you through social media. Now let's take a look at how Nichols builds brand cohesion through their social media platforms. Nickel State has social media platforms across all mediums. This includes Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Vimeo. So it is very important for Nickel State University to incorporate brand cohesion throughout all their social media. Nickel State utilizes their social media well by using the same hashtags across all of their platforms. Some examples are Go Colonels and hashtag Colonel Pride, which they encourage their consumers to use. Nichols implements their brand colors throughout picture posts, profile pictures, and their headers. The red, gray, and black are, all, are seen all across their platforms, so consumers immediately recognize the brand. For example, the color palettes for their headers all feature the color red. Their LinkedIn profile has a more professional look to it, which makes sense because LinkedIn is more business-oriented. Even though Nichols uses a different header on their LinkedIn profile, they still establish brand cohesion because everything they use is related back to Nichols. We will now discuss social media integration and developing a successful marketing strategy. Social media integration is the act of promoting your brand through multiple facets to increase awareness among your consumers. Once a week, you should link a tweet to your Facebook and vice versa. You should also take advantage of your organization's website. 
Finally, after all of this is said and done, and you have successfully integrated your social media and your website, be sure to keep up with being active and posting regularly. Letting your audience know that you're active will keep them in the know, and they will likely visit your pages again. We've noticed that your website hasn't been updated in a while, and doesn't have very many personal elements to it. You should add a page that recognizes your distinguished members, those on the board, and those who have been members for a long time. You can give small bios of these members, and with their permission, give a link to their Facebook page. Across all pages on your website, there should be icons on the header and the footer that links users to your Facebook and Twitter pages. You could also add a YouTube link to the International Rotary page to give consumers a visual aid that tells them the global impact Rotary has. Giving consumers access to your social media will increase your following and likes, but in order to retain these new followers, you must keep your accounts active at all times. To save time and ensure consistency, you can schedule posts for free via Facebook page dashboard. Just go to your organization's Facebook page, click Publishing Tools, on the left click Schedule Posts, then click Create, and add whatever kind of posts you would like. You should tackle social media the same way you tackle other things in the business realm, with a strategy. Creating a social media strategy can be challenging, but the benefits outweigh the costs if you create it effectively. You should follow these six steps to make your social media strategy successful. Understand your goals. You said that one of your goals is to increase the age demographics within your club and to spread information about the club to local citizens. The second thing you should do is create measurable objectives. Be sure your goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. A good example of a measurable objective for you would be obtaining five new followers a week on Twitter for the rest of the year. A way to achieve your goals is by characterizing your customers. The next step is to define the target audience that you wish to communicate with. Because you have a goal to widen the age demographics within your club, you should target people younger than the ones currently in your club, ages 18 to 28. Once you define your target audience, the next step should be to define your message. This consists of deciding what story you want to tell and what tone of voice you will decide to use. Your tone of voice should vary slightly between the different platforms that you decide to use like Facebook or Twitter because of the demographics associated with each platform. On Twitter, you can use a more informal or funny tone to relay your message. On Facebook, you should be a bit more formal and excited. After deciding the tone of your messages, you should create a content plan. During this step, you will need to plan out the content that you post and the platform that you will post to. Be sure to use a variety of mediums such as photos, videos, and text. Finally, avoid posting the same things throughout your platforms. Our next out of industry profile is going to cover the Terrebonne Parish Animal Shelter. The Terrebonne Parish Animal Shelter undertakes the responsibility of taking care of the homeless animals in the parish. They make it their mission to balance the health, safety, and welfare of the people and animals by protecting the rights of people from the dangers and nuisances caused by uncontrolled animals, ensuring the protection of animals from mistreatment, and promoting and motivating responsible pet ownership. The shelter only uses Facebook when it comes to social media. An example of one of their posts would be of an update of a cat that was adopted from the shelter. The cat has now lived with this family for over a year and has another cat to be around with. The post says that they are now best friends. This type of post is a great example of their social media strategy. Strategy, according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, is a plan or a method. The animal shelter strategy includes posting about adoptions, events, updates, information about costs, donations, and day-to-day -day things that happen at the shelter. Their page seems very fun and inviting for people who like animals or are thinking about adopting. Their posts vary from text to pictures with text and videos. They also post frequently, but they should be careful not to post too much as it could clutter their followers' feeds. A good amount of times to post would be about two to three times a week to establish that they are active and up-to-date. As an organization, you should consider implementing a social media strategy that would best suit your needs. To do this, you should follow the six steps previously mentioned to help you. Let's go over them again. Number one, understand your goals. Number two, create measurable objectives. Number three, make sure that your goals are relevant, timely, and attainable. Number four, define your target audience. Number five, create your message. And number six, create your posts and decide which platforms are best to post on. Now let's take a look at what C2C Interactions are all about. Consumer to consumer or C2C interactions allow consumers to connect with each other in virtual environments and discuss their perceptions of an organization. C2C interactions are not only beneficial to consumers because they get information about quality and assistance in the decision making process, but they're also essential to an organization's functionality. You should utilize social media to leverage C2C communications. 
You can do this by creating an engaging online environment for your audience, create share-worthy content like pictures of the members in your organization. Consumers enjoy seeing the human side of organizations, so this can be very beneficial for you. Post pictures weekly of the Rotarian of the week and of members participating in service work. Asking your audience questions can also increase C2C interactions. You can ask them things like, how do you serve others in the community? Or you can ask them, what's the most inspirational thing you have seen a service organization do? Be sure to actively participate in the conversation by responding to your consumers. A great example of a post that can encourage C2C interactions would be a text post that says, let's work together to make our community thrive. What can you do today to serve others? And another post with a picture of Rotarians at the South Down Market with the caption, who enjoyed the South Down Market? We enjoyed serving you. Let's take a look at what some organizations out of your industry do to boost C2C interactions. Bayou Cane Fire Protection District utilizes Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Their main platform that facilitates C2C interactions are Facebook, where they have a five-star rating, and typically respond within a few hours. As an organization, they post very frequently, giving consumers a great space to react and comment to each other and with the organization itself. For example, on this post about the fire department participating in a Halloween event, there were 68 reactions, one share, and four comments. One of these comments was from Homer Travel saying, these guys are the absolute best, y'all. Showing other consumers that people of this organization benefit the fire department and the community as a whole. A great example of a post that promoted C2C interactions is a live stream from October 5th of the fire department demonstrating fire safety to Oakshire Elementary kids. This post got a total of four comments with two people tagging others and initiating a conversation about the post. YUK Fire Protection District even responded to one of these comments, creating a consumer relationship. Not only do they post informational videos about their organization, but they post pictures urging people to take fire safety seriously, like this post that gained 14 shares, which encouraged consumers to interact with each other on their personal pages. However, Instagram and Twitter are a different story. They don't post as frequently and could even be considered inactive on Instagram. Because these platforms aren't being used effectively, they will miss out on helpful C2C interactions. The frequency in various posts that this organization publishes on Facebook encourages consumers to interact with one another and with Bayou Cane Fire Protection District. But they could even get more interactions if they used all of their platforms consistently. In order to make effective social media accounts, Rotary should employ techniques to stay ethical. Be sure to avoid any biases and remain transparent throughout all of your posts. Doing so will ensure customer trust. Another important aspect to consider is brand cohesion. The idea of keeping continuity throughout your social platforms and your brand. This will drive consumer to consumer interactions because it will easily allow consumers to recognize your brand and your social media platforms will give them an environment to communicate with each other. Creating a social media strategy will guarantee that your organization will always stay relevant. By creating a variety of posts, you'll ensure that your consumers are always engaged. Integrating social media into marketing strategies. Social media is one of the most powerful tools of the 21st century. With most people in society being connected to most social media platforms, you should enhance your marketing strategy to include social media. Social Media Examiner explains how to build a successful social media marketing strategy. All businesses are different, so each business should have a different plan than the other. But each should implement these four steps into their social media marketing plan. Increase brand awareness. Aims to produce content that educates, informs, entertains, or inspires. Audit your current social media plan and critique it. There are many positive results that stem from knowing your current place in the market. The most important result is improvement. Build a community. Always encourage communication and leave the lines of communication open. Be sure to contribute to the conversations and share your passions with the community. Listen to your audience to discover their interests. A good way to gauge your audience's interest is by social listening. Keep track of conversations that mention your brand and respond to as many as possible. Let's talk about the difference between return on investment and return on influence, or the new ROI. Return on influence measures more of the qualitative side on the business's social interactions, while return on investment focuses more on the monetary aspect. According to an article by Eric DeHaan on how to build your influence by social media, there are three ways you can do this. Start with what you know. 
whether it's knowledgeable information or passion, establish yourself as an expert on the topic. Be consistent. Quality over quantity. Naturally, your output will increase over time, but only if you post share-worthy content. Pay attention to the demand. Pay attention to what your followers are interacting with on social media. What are they liking, commenting, or sharing? Then feed their interests. Overall, understanding exactly what your followers are looking for and what they interact with will ultimately determine your return on influence. To do the aforementioned things successfully, you must remember that the most important aspect of social media is telling a story. Because you are a service organization that does wonderful things for the local community and global community alike, your story should focus on making the world a better place. Encouraging others to do service work and showing the positive effects it has on society. Your social media story should reflect Rotary's motto, service above self. You can do so by telling stories about the way Rotary has helped the local community and tell stories about the members in your club who go above and beyond to help serve others. Posting content that highlights Rotary members who have helped serve others and encouraging other people to serve others in the community will get you a more diverse membership. You should post these things to Facebook and Twitter. This will drive your consumer to consumer interactions, your business to consumer interactions, and your business to business interactions because it allows your audience to easily recognize you on social media and it gives them an outlet to speak about your service. If you follow the steps previously provided to integrate social media into your marketing plan, you'll be able to obtain all of your organizational goals and grow Rotary as a club.